Hi, I'm Bob. Let's do the computer exercises for Chapter Eight: Heteroscedasticity in the Textbook Introductory Econometrics, a Modern Approach, the Seventh Edition by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. We will solve the first five computer exercises today. The first computer exercise is about the test for heteroscedasticity in the variance of the error term. For Part One. We can assume that the variance of the error term conditional on all the explanatory variables is a function of the dummy variable mu. For part two, we estimate the slip equation by OLS and obtain the OLS residuals. We use the predict command with the residuals option in Stata. I name the residuals R. Then we generate the squared residuals to see whether the variance of the error term is the same for men and women. We can compare the mean of the squared residuals between men and women. To do that, we use the tabulate command with the summarize option. We find that the estimate of the variance of error term for females is higher. Than that for males. In part three, we can run a simple regression to find the significance of the difference. We regress the squared residuals on the dummy variable male. The coefficient on the variable male. Is the difference in the error variance between men and women? The t statistic is minus one point zero six, and its p value is zero point two nine one. We fail to reject the null hypothesis of no difference in the variance of the error term between men and women at even the twenty percent level against a two-sided alternative. We can reach the same conclusion if we use the multiple regression of the square residuals on all the explanatory variables, with a p-value of zero point two zero eight. Let's do computer exercise two. The estimated equation is as follows: We report the usual standard errors in the parentheses and the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors in brackets. In Stata. We use the variance-covariance matrix option, VCE, to specify the robust standard error. We write robust inside the parentheses. The largest difference between standard errors is for the variable of log size. It results in a much smaller t-statistic using the robust standard error. Using the usual standard error. The variable is statistically significant at the one percent level, but becomes statistically insignificant at even the ten percent level using the robust standard error. For part two, the estimated equation is as follows:
there is no important difference between the two sets of standard errors. The significance of the variables is basically unchanged. The log size and the log square feet variables are statistically significant at the 1% level, while the bedroom number variable is not significant at the 10% level against a two-sided alternative using either standard error. For Park 3, after the logarithmic transformation, the robust and the usual standard errors become close to each other, implying that the transformation alleviates heteroscedasticity. Let's find answers to computer exercise 3. It is about the Y test for heteroscedasticity. After we estimate the logarithmic model, we use the predict command with the residuals option to obtain the OLS residuals. Then we generate the squared residuals. After that, we consider the Y test for heteroscedasticity using the squared residuals. Since we use the squares and the interaction terms of all explanatory variables in the full white test, the first step is generating them. Next, we run the white regression of the squared residuals on the nine explanatory variables and the intercept. The LM statistic equals the sample size times the R squared from the wide regression. We can type a return list to find all the stored results. Finally, we can compute the p-value for the LM statistic. It is 0 0.39. It suggests that we fail to reject the null hypothesis that all the explanatory variables in the white test are zero at even the 30% level. In other words, there is no strong evidence against the null hypothesis of homoscedasticity of the error term in the original house price model. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.